my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and today we're going to do a magic calabash reading so basically choosing from this calabash and see who wants to come through with a message and then we're going to see what that message is now before we get into that two things one guys set your alarm to do the call back your power meditation okay i'm going to be doing it at 4 14 p.m because at 1 44 i'm going to be on the road driving so i definitely don't want to do it at that time all right i really want to concentrate and not do it passively but do it in a very conscious and conscientious conscientious way so i'm doing it at 414 all right um some people are doing it at 144 oh, which is a beautiful activation number so that's beautiful as well okay so set your alarm um, to do a meditation i don't want the opportunity to pass you by um secondly yes my birthday is coming up on the fifth of the fifth cinco de mayo cinco de mayo and unite um but these weren't even birthday gifts um from my lovely friend mex although it does seem like i've been doing a lot of receiving from the universe um well you guys know her as mex um as she, and she's one of our beautiful moderators. So she's always here with us. And she sent me these lovely gifts. Okay. So they're these beautiful. I mean, look at these. Uh, I wish my fingers were even more beautiful to show them off. But they are just absolutely amazing. And there's more. Aren't they, and look at this. Look at this gorgeous one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. The camera does not even pick up um, the beautiful colors that are on this um, right now. So be absolutely beautiful. I love all of them. And then she also sent me these. And these amazing magnets. Mm, twins. <laughs> so I'm, mag I'm magnetizing. And then the piece de resistance. This beautiful, beautiful stone. Look at this. My camera does not do it justice. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous baby. Look at that. I don't know. What shape is that in the middle? What shape is that? First time I saw it, it almost looked like a Playboy, but no, it's like an eagle um, taking flight. Like an eagle taking flight. Look at that. And look at. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't. You guys can't see the beautiful colors on this from here. The camera. I told you, the camera just does not do this justice um so max um thank you i i'm absolutely blown away um by these gifts thank you thank you universe um it's just amazing all right so i'm just gonna why not let me let me use them in this reading i'll spread them out let them bring beautiful energy i've already charged them all right so they're all good to go spread them out here nice and let us oh isn't that beautiful and let us get into this and let's let's magnetize we're magnetizing <laughs> oh, a bit of protection here nice okay so let's see who wants to come through and talk to us today maybe they're talking about magneto magnetism <laughs> okay let's see all right let's go underneath okay so we got a brother coming through now is this this person connected to you or connected to your person let's find out spirit is this person connected to you or is it connected to your person it is connected to your person now is this a blood brother or someone who's like their brother someone who's like their brother um
does this person like you or not like you? <laughs> and my voice started to go out like, not like you. <laughs> Oops, too bad. <laughs> well, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> That's a you problem, sir. Anyways, um, even though they say brother, um, is this person male in body or female in body? It's this person, they're saying this person's female um, in body, but like they have masculine energy and looks like it's a close friend. It's a spirit. Uh, is this friend or family? The same as family, though. Family is someone who's close, like a brother, and they have that um, sibling bond with this person, but this person, they're holding masculine energy, but they're female um, in body. Okay. Oh, well, let's see what this person wants to talk about. What do they want to talk about, guys? What do they want to talk about? All right, underneath the deck, we have birth. Okay, so maybe your person is expecting some sort of birth. But this might be them wanting to birth some sort of new beginning here. Um, maybe they want to make the effort. Let's see what they want to talk about. Oh, oh. Stabilization. Okay, so they want to talk about this energy of grounding, this energy of anchoring. <clears throat> or maybe it could be an energy of being stuck. Um, let's see. Let's pull four cards on that. <clears throat> Spirit, tell us about the stabilization card. All right, we have a hermit in reverse sometimes that's can talk about resistance okay but it's followed by the eight of wands so this is action then okay because the hermit um he can be a little stuck because he's really introspecting um but when we come out of hermit mode we take action so your person taking action maybe they want to talk let's see spirit what is this stabilization what does this anger represent what does this person want to tell us we have seven of cups in reverse and that's about clarity we have the eight of cups in reverse this could be about all oh, addictions um stuckness let's see not being able to walk away feeling trapped we have the knight of wands um upright player energies and we have the sun happiness divine masculine energy all right so what i'm getting is like like a pro, like an epiphany an epiphany your person is trying to achieve some kind of stability within themselves and within their life okay um i think they've gotten some clarity on their addictions on their unwillingness to let go of things and people that no longer serve them on their player energy on this inconsistent energy um that they have okay and this knowledge is pushing your person into divine masculine energy get right here into divine masculine energy i think this was only possible because your person got burnt though they got burnt um i think you know play stupid games win stupid prizes um and i think this time they won a really stupid prize some kind of consolation prize okay so this had to happen this way all right so it looks like there was some kind of divine order some kind of um karmic return um that came into your person's life and it's given them this 2020 vision right? <laughs> it's like my eyes 2020 vision okay of their actions and the way that they have been um conducting their life their relationships 
all right why is this person coming with this message what's the, what's the, what's their motivation what's their motivation because remember they don't like you everywhere so what is their motivation we have the hanged man in reverse we have the queen of swords in reverse that's a karmic energy we have the whimsical tarot that's like an ace of pentacles and we have a five of pentacles um in reverse what is their motivation all right you know like people say the enemy of your enemy is your friend right well i think this is what yeah i think this is what's happening right now this person may not like you but you know what they don't like the karmic energy either okay they don't like this karmic energy um and they're kind of choosing the lesser out of the two evils are we supposed to feel are we supposed to be feel are we supposed to be feeling complimented about that i don't know but they think that you are the lesser of the two evils and the more stable <laughs> the more stable choice Thank you. <laughs> what, what the fuck do you want me to say? The more stable choice. So they don't like you, <laughs> but they kind of don't like the comic more. Mm. <laughs> so this is why they're coming forward. They find like, yeah, they, f you think, they think you're quirky, full of whimsy, that kind of thing. And uh, they think you're kind of woo-woo and weird. But at the same time, they find that energy more consistent and stand and stable um than the karmic energy that is in your person's life now this could be a demanding boss this could be an interfering parent a parent that can't let go this could be family members um this could be um weird friends this could be a spouse whatever it is okay they kind of find okay they don't like you but they you are the better choice out of the two my thanks <laughs> so can we ask what's happening in viewers life right now okay so that's their personal journey okay but their external surroundings okay the external what's happening in the external right now well you came to talk so we have to ask you questions right so let's see we have three of cups this is my card of numbing out, but sometimes it can signal a third party. We have temperance. Okay, that's what I saying. Divine order. Um, and through a fall, right? This Jack and Jill, right? So through a fall, your person is being refined by spirit. We have the two of wands, the same quarter in a trap um, thingy. And we have the six of cups in reverse which is a karmic soulmate all right so if your person is with somebody else that relationship is on the divine order right now okay it's been tempered and we're tempered by the fire so your person and the, that connection is going through it and it looks like everybody in that connection is at a choice point do they continue the way they have been continuing okay or do they make a different choice and do a course correct i think that's a choice that each person not just your person but everyone involved um is required to make at this time so it looks like the, the it looks like there's been some kind of fall fall from grace okay some sort of fall from grace here um, and this is bringing a lot of liberty and clarity to that connection and indeed to all karmic persons um in your person's life okay um what's your person's oh what has your person told this brother about you we have 
the Hierophant in reverse, the Eight of Wands, it's a chat. We have the High Priestess in reverse. You know, this feels like a lot of general reading, a lot of um private readings that I've been doing. And we have the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, what have they been telling this person about you? That they want to come and talk to you. And it's the same message I've been getting consistently over most of the readings. That they want to tell you everything. They don't want to have any secrets between you guys. There's been... I think your person has been like on a rampage. Okay? Um, and they have been basically eliminating a lot of things and a lot of people from their life. Anything that brings this person drama and stress, they have been eliminating it. And I think they want to tell you about that. For some of them, there is some kind of, and this again resonates with all the collective readings, some kind of broken contract. Now, this could be a work contract. This could be a romantic contract. This could be um, just um, unease in the family. Okay. Or it could be that your person has had a shift in ideology. If you know that your person was very conservative and traditional before um, in their thinking and the way that they did things, this is a complete um, 180 degrees. They're making a complete 180 degrees um, as to their ideologies and what they stand for. Okay? What's your person... So that's what they've been telling um, this person. What's your person's feelings for you right now? Let me use this other deck. What's this person's feelings for you at the moment? What are their feelings? I'm not doing a long reading today. I'm going to go out with my niece. I'm doing a short reading. Um, we have confrontational. Yeah, there's someone who they they want to be assertive um, in this connection. If they have been laid back <clears throat> and just allowing life to happen to them, um, it's like a no more. Okay, um, trustworthy. So they feel about you in their heart space. Um, hopeless. Not the best vibe with that one. Suspicious. And open. All right. You want the good news or bad news first? <laughs> so this person trusts you, which is really, really good news because I think they could count on one hand the amount of people that they trust in their life. And maybe their parents would not be on that list. I'm going to let you know. Right, so they trust you and they think that you are trustworthy. Um, they are very open to you um, and your vibration right now, your energy, open to anything that you have to say. I think this really, this person, because they're showing me like words flowing into the ethers and into their heart and them just kind of like bathing in your words. I don't know why, like bathing in your words and, you know, just let it flow through their body. So they're very receptive to conversation, to energies um, from you at this time. And open to new ideas and concepts that you might want to share with them. Open to any kind of creative ideas about partnerships. They are very open because they just want you um, in their life. Okay, they need that kind of connection. They are magnetized towards you, right? They're magnetized towards you. I feel that that's what that open um, is all about. But at the same time, you know, the ego dies hard. So I don't know if this person has been away from you, like disconnected from you, or you guys haven't been speaking or whatever it is, but there's a part of them that doubts that this connection can 
get back on track or that this connection can go forward or maybe even doubt how you feel about them but i don't think that's a you issue this is their own woundedness that they keep projecting outward now they are suspicious of you and your actions maybe you've been quiet you've been there busy in your corner um but this person has again they have trust issues even though they trust you there's still suspicion running in their mind so it's like you know that back and forth energy that push and pull when they're having a good day mm, love you trust you open when they're having a bad day wonder what they're up to are they cheating on me do they have someone else you know those kind of thoughts so it's it's for them now to stabilize themselves but right now their 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 energy their emotions their thoughts are in flux okay and as long as we're in flux you know we can't open a particular timeline okay we have to be in alignment or heart or mind or energies have to be in alignment we can't open any new timeline or path with this kind of flux they have to make up their mind what they want and disregard the fears and the part of them that say it, that says that it can't happen okay now based on what we're seeing here and what this person has told us what's going to be your person's next actions towards you we have 10 of wands releasing the burden down by the riverside look down by the riverside right that's what they're going to do leave their burdens down by the riverside um we have the moon and sometimes that's about trusting or intuition it could talk about shadow but i think this is them leaving their baggage you know leaving their baggage behind finally releasing the baggage um it's like a big purge huh that's what it looks like a big purge um we have the chariot yeah finally moving forward and we only move forward when again heart mind energies are in alignment seven of swords reverse taking off the mask all right so expect uh, expect a lot of truth from this person they are ready to jump over the moon jump through hoops for you because they want this um connection to move forward but i think their very first act is going to be taking off the mask and allowing you to see who they really are inside and allowing you to experience how they truly feel um about you okay let's get some advice from spirit and we're going to close off this reading all right perception shifting your perception i think we got that the last time right the facade the mask all right so um this person wants to take off their mask and allow themselves to be seen but spirit saying you still have your facade up as well you need to allow this person to see who you really are. There's a part of you that you are still hiding from this person. And that's because you think that you're going to get rejected. And that's because part of you thinks that you're not good enough. Or they will change their perception of you. Um, if you tell them about that part of yourself. But Spirit saying, this can only move forward with clarity. You dropping your walls, your facade also allows them, you know, gives them permission um, to do that as well. Okay lots of wounded inner children um here okay all right guys so that was your reading don't forget put on your alarm to do the meditation it makes no sense purchasing or renting it and they didn't and you don't do it um in the time that you wanted it to you know you're doing yourself an injustice okay so put on your alarm if you've not um accessed it as yet i'll put a link down below okay but much love Enjoy yourself. Bye.